and welcome back, welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. Ah, I'm having a mixed week just now because I'm on the downer from getting married. And it's funny, people did say to me, when it's over, you're gonna feel like really sad. And in the moment, I was like, no, I'm so stressed. Like, I want the stress to go away and I'm gonna be great. And then they were right, annoyingly. Um, <sighs> it's a weird feeling having so much to plan and then coming back to reality, I guess, and just back to work. Yeah, it's a strange one. But on the plus side, we have Final Fantasy 16 to keep me happy. And I've been keeping some of my collector's edition goodies close to me this time. Remember in the last episode, I was like, there is a map and I didn't know what I'd done with it. Well, I found the map. But then I was like, if I pay too much attention to that, am I just going to spoil something for myself? I haven't decided what to do now. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing I have decided. To play Final Fantasy 16. Last episode was good. We came back into contact with Jill and Torgal, of course. And we met this game's version of Sid. And it was great. We had some bosses that we did. And I will be honest, I didn't do them very well. Does that look like a... A foot? Like, yeah, I think it... I think it is. It's very convenient the way that is going. Okay. Aurabelle Downs. The Dilic plains that stretch across the southern reaches of the Holy Empire are sparsely populated unless one knows where to look. I was a bit concerned shutting the game down on the map yesterday and I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna have to read you the last section, but it was fine. So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship, though its flying days seem to be behind it. Shame that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. It's not gonna be as simple as that. Is this a training thing? Oh no, sorry. Attuning with an obelisk allows Clive to travel quickly to the location via both the world map and the local map. Clive need only approach an obelisk... Why can't I say these words? Obelisk to attain with it. I'm sorry. Louder than words. Make for Lost Wing. It's not going to be so simple. We are not just going to find who this Ifrit person is. La 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 la. It's not going to happen. Oh, finally have a map now. Okay. So this just takes me back to the world map. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as way marks. The vibes of Neo I get from this game. It's insane. It's actually insane. Cause that's like with Neo and then... What are you doing? What's over there? There was nothing over there. So I'm gonna see if I can run back to the world map. I think you can like... Whoa. I just started like sprinting all of a sudden. Do it again, do it again. Aha! I didn't mean to do that. This is pretty. This game is so pretty. It's really hard for me as well. I'm not doing my usual, which is spending some time 
with the Final Fantasy community, which I love very, very much. Reason being, spoilers. Hey, yo, whoa. All right, I had that, by the way, Just so you know. It's really horrible because I love to spend time with the Final Fantasy community. However, when I'm playing a brand new Final Fantasy, I want to know nothing. I want no tips, no hints. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? Like, I want nothing. There's a lot of birds around here. Wait a minute. Getting the items. Fifteen was exactly the same. Um, I didn't rush through fifteen, but I definitely didn't take my time with it either. Sorry, Poochie. I want to check something. So let's go into my abilities. This one here. Executing a dodge at the moment of an enemy attack not only increases evasion, but also allows for counterattacks. Okay, so I've got to do that right. 355! What about this one? Magic burst. My magic isn't very good at the moment though, and I, I kind of feel like we should be doing some other stuff. What about this one? Use the blessing of the phoenix to close the gap between a target. Both melee attacks and magic attacks can be dealt while shifting. Okay, I've been using phoenix shift when I've been right next to them. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit of an idiot. Um, oh, I don't have enough to master that anyway. Summon a projectile dispelling wall of liquid flame. Oh, that's cool. Um, not able to upgrade it. So there's nothing more I can do there. What does it mean lockability? What, what do you mean? Uh, let's go ahead and just kind of get some of these. Because we had a wee read of these before. Okay. So we have 80. This one... I do like this. Use R1 to recover after being knocked back. The way the battle system is... It's just going to take me a minute to learn absolutely everything and to kind of get good with combining my moves together. And I think it's really important to get that right, to find the best combos that you can do. And like, you don't want to just be R1, square, 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 R1, square, square, you know? Definitely want to be messing about with that one. Ah, see, I noticed against the boss in the last episode that when I jumped and did square, I was doing more damage. Let me put this one. I want to try that, but I, I didn't get the square. Yeah. I just did it there. <laughs> I was going to be like, oh, I didn't get that last time. But uh, I just got it there. I like this. I like that he walks quicker or runs quicker. Right, let's try it out. So you've got Phoenix to get close to him. Yep. Okay, magic burst. No, messed it up. It's quite difficult to see what I'm doing here. I don't have the timing down for parrying yet. We'll figure that out. I bet there is a ton of stuff around here. 
That's just tricky. Tricky to see anything. Um, okay, I don't see any items hanging about this area. Now, I really do not intend to be underleveled at any point during this Let's Play. If I am underleveled, I have done something majorly wrong. Majorly wrong. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hi, guys! What did I do? Me what? It just reminds me of eight every time. Yet our goal! I keep calling Torgal him. And I'm pretty certain that Torgal is a lady. I think Torgal's a lady. Welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. I only have two potions and two high potions. Not digging those odds. I don't feel like I explored fully, you know? I, I checked around there, I didn't see anything. Although there's that little tiny gap there. I mean, I guess I can always come back. But what if there's good items? And I miss them. It's the last thing I want. Quest destination nearby. That's quite good then. That's kind of warning you, you know. Are you done? Make sure you're done. Bum, bum. No sign of the royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? Subtle. Useful. Thanks, Sid. Okay. I don't even know what he looks like. Well, there's no one else here. The village can't be completely abandoned, can it? So these things keep popping up. Travel. Right, okay, so these are... How big is this map going to be if we're getting all these fast travels? Okay, Torgal, do your thing. That sounds like a child. It's all right. I'm not one of them. My friend and I, we're... with the Imperial Army. And we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In... in the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here? Until then. To the church, mm. then. Do we trust her? She could be telling us one thing. Is that Sid? She could be telling us one thing and she's not telling the whole truth. Let's just... Have a wee look around. Yeah, you're right! I have very little trust in people. I'm sorry. <laughs> Little traits of Susie start coming out when she's playing video games, right? Okay. The church, I know. I'm one step out of you. How? Going through the front, I'll take the rear. Anyone stands in our way, the other can stab him in the back. All right.
What's that thing in the middle? Is that there, Jesus? Feels like a tram. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. <laughs> yeah, I hope he did. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? Clive! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. Uh, uh oh! <laughs> Give you one guess where he's going. Clive, after him. Let's go! Come on, Torgal! I mean, he'd be kind of stupid to take me right back to his camp, but then... Depends if I'm running into a trap, too. I hear you, Torgo. Come on. Figured you'd be quicker than me. <laughs> Any word from the scouts? <laughs> Not yet, my lady. But we have the dominance companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Kaer Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping, should the Dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Surprised she didn't kill him then for being like... Will you join me? <laughs> my thanks. To our Lady of the Wind. And the King! <laughs> Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Benedicta, Imperials! Um, I don't like that I'm walking into this. And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. Mercy. That's what I said. I was like, that wasn't going to end well for him, was it? Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Turned into icons, but she just summoned a 
I'm assuming it's an icon. Whip. Damn it, I did not mean to do that. I was trying to. I need to figure out parries. I feel like I can get the dodge. What are you talking about? We don't need Sid. Are you kidding me? Okay, we need to get the parries down, otherwise we're going to have some issues. I thought that we turned into icons. You've got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. <gasps> No, we need him! Or her. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. And she's gone. She say where she was going. No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just. Which is why I sent Gab. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. I need to do some reading up on her. And that summon just then. <laughs> oh no. Don't be drinking. The last time that we all got drunk, it wasn't good. So, 
It wasn't about bearers at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. You know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. Well, this is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the boat. Ah, Targan. A thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions. I think they'd be safer if they left this place. At least they'd be hidden with Sid in his little hideout. His lance levels mountains, it spawned as the deep. The skies over storm breaks for the sword. Revenge won't bring him back. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, Whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be a slave, then. It never happens like that, though. Because you do one thing, and then you think that you don't care, but then there'll be something else that he cares about. Like, it will never happen like that. His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. So, I, I really liked my theory all this time. But it wasn't Clive, was it? He's not Ifrit. I just thought the whole scene looked a bit strange. <laughs> Wake up. Gav's back. Norvind. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. 
If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be travelling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well... When you put it that way... <sighs> suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. Weren't you the one that just got captured? Just saying. Right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it. Do you? No. Sid is so good. Like, he is super intelligent. This is what happens, though, when you are doing something solely based on revenge. It never really... Well, I don't know. Maybe sometimes it works out, and maybe sometimes you'll get what you want, but... At the end of the day... I'm speaking from experience, okay? I can sometimes be quite revengeful. <laughs> it doesn't really turn out. And it's a waste of your energy. It really is. As the story progresses, new weapons and items will become available at the Hideaway's trading post. Sharon's Tall. Karen's Tall. But it's spelled Sharon. Anyway, as new forging recipes at the Black Hammer. Oh, subtle. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kid. Hello. What can I interest you in today? Ooh, that's 700. I've actually got a decent amount of gill. Let's do it. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Um... I mean, it doesn't put me up by much. How much is that? 680. We can afford them all, I think. I hope it's to your liking. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Used in crafting. I don't know how much of these I need right now, so we won't get any of those. 40,000? For what? A tattered slip of parchment upon which has been hastily scrawled several bars of music and the title... Edils of the Empire. The melody seems familiar, but the author is unknown. It's a new song, but it's 40,000? What? Crazy. Okay. Um, and we definitely need some of these. So... It's crazy you can only get so many. I hope it's to your liking. I trust it's all here. That's like. not enough, and you know it. Ah, not enough cash, stranger. He's fighting the good fight. Mags Merchant. The music is just so peaceful. What is that? Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. 
And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. A seal. May the mothers guide you. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find our dominance. Your choice. There's just this something the more. Works. There's something more to all of this. Like, you're not supposed to have two of the same like fire ice and whatnot two of the same element but yeah you had phoenix and ifrit and our journey is literally to go and kill ifrit but i don't know i'm just i'm kind of excited i'm excited to see who those people are that have been taken and what was he doing as well? Like, why? Why did you appear out of nowhere and attack Phoenix? Like, why did you do it? Like, I wanna know. You're the kind man who saved mommy. Thank you. You're very welcome. Guess like I'm desperate to know, but I'm doing that thing again where I'm like, I am not rushing the game. Well, I am. Think hard. I already told you. Long before any of us could get a good look under that hood of his. Yeah, I don't want to rush anything. I want to take in the world. Just everything. But also, I want to know everything. Ah. Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. All right, well, he was being honest about it. What would the king you know really anything? want with our tiny village anyway? Surely they have bearers in What a mess. That's the other thing that I need to learn in relation to this game as well, is town names, for one. I remember it being quite difficult when I was playing 12. I could never remember a lot of the places. And actually, even to this day, if I was to put that game on now, I think I'd be quite 
forgetful. Obviously, I know Rabin Aster and... I was wanting to get a guidebook for this game, but apparently the guidebooks are not even coming out until September, and I'm like, why? It's like, I know I'll probably still be playing it then, let's be honest, but I just wanted a guidebook. Because I got guidebooks for all my Final Fantasies. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today, getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. Poor buggers. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that you weren't alone. Was a young maid who went wherever he did, including the church, and wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. Well, I guess my theory is out the window now about Sid being different. <laughs> I haven't been reading the comments as well, so I'm like, people have thought I was so stupid. So, so stupid. So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalist to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? But that doesn't sound right, though. They're making him out to have this level head and care for the girl that he's with. But why did he attack Joshua, then? I don't know, maybe because Joshua lost control? Maybe he felt like he had to in that moment to save her? Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. <laughs> no need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. God, you're, all you're giving us is a floor. Like, I could float anywhere in this world. Ah, oh, Talk about getting used. Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Well, I should rather wait. No more waiting. The road south, then? Unless... I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Appreciate your help with the Royalists' barricade earlier. We'll see you the rest. Well, at least I got some respect from some people. That's for sure. 
Um, through here or the other way? I wonder. Oh, no, I think I'm going the wrong way now. Wait, where am I going? I'm just having a wee wander around the place now. Yeah, so they're acting as if the Ifrit person is... kind. In some form. But he killed Josh, so I... I don't know. Okay, I'm going the completely wrong way, aren't I? So that's going back to there. So I should have gone that way. Sorry, guys. Hey, Sid, you could have told me. You could have told me. You could have been like, girl, you're going like the completely wrong way. Gosh, I feel like I'm going to zone out so much to the music. Like, I don't even want to say anything half the time. I'm just like... Yeah, so definitely up top. It gives me, um, what was it called? Near Replicant, if you ever played that game, and if you haven't, please do it. It's something you need to do in your life. Near Replicant and then Near Automata. Get it done. Amazing games. This is something about when we're running about the place. That's me, my darling. What's wrong? What have you lost? Hmm. Are you dating the dominant? The road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Cairn Northern. You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? I was thinking about it, thought it might be good fun. If the Royalists were looking to take the care, they'd have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises. At least I would have. Well, you should know. This game is amazing. Sometimes it's hard, as I was just saying, to, to talk, because I just want to zone out and start kicking some ass. Hello. Yo, whoa, don't be doing that. I continuously forget to use my magic. Like my triangle button. All the time. I continuously like just forget to use it and I don't know why. What are the royalists thinking? Why take a stronghold they've no chance of holding? When they've no intention of holding it. The king is up to something. The king? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? This is one of his majesty's cunning stunts. And he sent his best to execute it. That's what I'm saying, it doesn't... Everything that's going on right now doesn't make any sense to me. Even the actions so far of the dominant with Josh. So I know I need to be there, but 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 does this take me back around? What is that? Okay, I'm guessing I can get around that way. Yeah, everything that he's done up to this point has made zero sense whatsoever. I'm like, just tell me what's going on. I'm just nosy. Hello. Whoops. So I've been getting asked a lot of questions. Is the game everything you hoped for? And I would say so, 100%. I didn't actually know what to expect. That was half the fun of... I want to try and parry. 
I'll go for the other one. Right, come at me. Oh. I'll tell your lady. You try. Said I was trying to learn how to parry. Ah. Oh. So every time it comes to a boss, I never parry correctly. Well, I never parry at all, actually. <laughs> Care, Normans. Hard not to crack, even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. If We're on a revenge war path, so he doesn't care. I was like, I see these things. Not the easiest to parry. Right, can I parry this thing? I think I'm just gonna have to parry the bosses and try and figure it out because Sid is doing too much damage. As I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want... is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is... I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. You're such a good guy. Good guy, Sid. I'm guessing I can't make the choice to just go over the bridge because I feel like that would be fun. So, tell me about this, Benedicta. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda, Warden of the Wind. So, but she summoned... Mm -hmm. hmm. She summoned a lady. But she's also an icon. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Turns out that Joshua actually summoned Ifrit to fight himself. Could you imagine? That would be weird. That's not the case, but could you imagine? It'd be weird. Right, where do I want to go? So we are here, Lost Wing. That's where we started. Once used as a stronghold, the Holy Empire has since disgaranized this strategic position along the neutral crystal belt and now employs it in the training of Imperial Army recruits. I'm ready, I'm not messing about. I wanna know. I want Clive to meet Ifrit's dominant. That's what I want. Thalan has fallen. The 
eastern territories all but belong to the orcs. I'll have my men ready to depart by noon. Don't bother. But what of the mines? Without adamantite... The blight would have engulfed the mines ere long. Besides, you already have your orders. Yes, my liege. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. The land starved of the ether that gives it life. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the mother crystals, desperate for their blessing. The war we wage for possession of that blessing, it breaks us from within, hastening us to our own destruction. And so you do what must be done. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. The world must be restored, and I will see it so. You might have already had Sidolphus not betrayed us. Him again. Lust you still for his embrace? But... Of course not. My liege. I serve you, and you alone. I was gonna say there was like a relationship thing there with her and Sid, 100%. I remember well the day you first entered these halls. Your pale hand pressed into his, as if it would never let go. That... that was a long time ago. Yours is the only hand I need. Now and always. Soon, my dear, soon all will know whose hand it is that keeps them from falling into the darkness. Hold me, my leash. Never let me go. But does she actually like him or does she like the power? Hmm. And also, she was with that big guy. One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. Your orders? Pull the men back inside the care, Geralt. He is here, then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. <sighs> so you've come for me after all. Hmm. I don't think he's come for you after all. Unfortunately. Yeah, so she was with the big guy, and then she's with the king, and then she was with Sid. Okay. Well, she ain't coming for my Clive. I'll, I'll see to it, man. Torgal will just eat her. Back up! Back up, bitch! Back up! Okay? Know your place. Calcifer! Oh, my little Calcifer. Like when we played as Joshua. Alright, so we have a little bit of a something something that happened between Benedicta. See, every time I say your name, I think of Eggs Benedict. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm so sorry. I'm just. We should start with the dungeons. They may be holding the bearers there. Sound plan. As long as we keep ourselves on this side of the vase. As that I can see. In here. Hello? They're all empty. And you're gonna give up. Sid. This gate. I'm gonna give up. I'm just stating. Need some help. What do you think? That I'm doing most of the lifting. <laughs> Come on, Torgal.
That was a nice sweet touch, though. That we had our little fireball there. Did you hear that? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, they're coming for you, Sid. Good news, lads. Your search is over. Stay down. This door only leads to more royalists. We better find another one. Well, wow, come on. We can so take them out. All right, let's go. We came from down there, didn't we? How about a window? <laughs> I am not, that's well, rude. We found the Imperial garrison. Right where the Royalists left them. Hold on, I just wanna see. Ah, see, see, see. You gotta check out where you're going. Got some potion. What? It's crazy to me that you can only have four potions and three high potions. Like, what are you doing to me? You know I need more than that. You know I do. Damn it. They're everywhere. So I don't go that way? I want to try going back up here because I was going to go up here initially and then... I thought I had missed something. Hello, they're still everywhere. Get him, boy. Sick him, boy. Have me patty. No. I panicked, I panicked. Stay down. Oh. Get up. <laughs> Execute and land five precision. Ooh. Okay. That's my you stop that. Right. Hit me. Okay, not like that. Hit me. Okay, he wasn't even going for me that time. Better already. Okay, I was gonna go the other way, but... Wait, maybe I end up that way anyway. I thought that's it, Rising Chocobo. Do -do -do. Yes, kick it. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. This doesn't look good. Ah! Oh! Not this time. 
like not right now. Maybe in a minute. It's a nasty, nasty move. That felt like a boss fight. That didn't just feel like a standard, you know? That was intense. You never were one for half measures, were you, Benedictor? These poor sods didn't know what hit them. Wait, what was that? I just got something. A scarlet cyclone. Um, just want to make sure that I'm picking up absolutely everything. So let's try... See if I can go in this building. Hi, guys! <laughs> That's for sure. Wait a minute. So that was as if I was coming this way. Okay, it's fine. It's just a bit of backtracking. So I would have had to have come through here anyways, and then we would have had to have taken on this guy who knew who Sid was, but it's fine. I'm, I like to make sure that I've checked out absolutely everything, you know? Bum, 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 bum. Actually, now before we do anything, Look at Torgal, he's got his own little thing! What is this? We have photo mode? Oh, of course we do. <sighs> Unable to get just the right angle or lighting on your screenshots? Use photo mode to craft tailor-made images that will dazzle your friends and followers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right, actually, I wanted to go into abilities. So, three, seven, six. Um, that could be a good one. Ha! All this bloody running. After oh, that. There we go. I'm practicing. What's this? Well guarded? 
Attacking an opponent from the front while it is guarding will deal no damage. Circle to the rear. Certain basic abilities such as Burning Blade and Charge Magic as well as Icon abilities such as the Phoenix Rising Flames will break. taking out the wolves. I just don't like the noise they make. So can we not? They're just doing their job. I don't even know. Wait. Whoops. I don't even know how we got with Benedicta. Like I look forward to finding that out, is what I was going to say. That's enough. You know what's to boy. My will stay down. to do that nowadays. I kind of miss that. It seems to only do that after like really really epic moments. It doesn't do it after every moment. And it should. It should do it after every moment. The only way is through the chapel. Then great Griga must have plans for us. Ah, great. <laughs> Right, bring it on. I'm ready. Your ways. Hurt my dog and die. Okay. What the hell happened here? Oh. Said she's the enemy. Come on. A little late for prayer, isn't it? Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. All this for a midnight chat. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wing? You mean where's the dominant? Well, we shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of him. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who'd use me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. I don't know who you are anymore. Or what you want. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, so what changed? What made you think you had to sacrifice who you were to get what you wanted? Sacrifice? 
I use my talents to my advantage, and you would tell me there is shame in that? If there's no shame, then why do you feel so sorry for yourself? A rousing speech, Lord Commander. I was a fool to believe you might have changed. The only person I feel sorry for is you! I can't do this anymore. If you would stand between our leash and his dream, then you leave me no choice. Uh-oh. Goodbye, Sidolphus. Uh-oh. Stand back, Clyde. No! Ah! I'm on in on this too! Oh shoot, am I gonna play a Sid though? Am I gonna play a Sid? Oh, sick. Oh, just make sure the tour goes out of there, please. This is insane. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy! I just feel like I need breaks in between. Okay, let's fucking go. I'm after my Sid. I think not. Wait, I'm in something bad there. I'm trying to go after like one at a time, but it's hard. Take him, Targo. What's happening? Let's go!
Sit down, bitch! Sick of trouble. She doesn't look happy, Toba. Come on. Uh oh. Too Wait, her HP came back. Why? 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 You know what to do, boy. than the last fight. Much better. And sit? You gotta be dead already. Nah. Sid, are you alright? Do I look alright? Benedicta will be on her way to collect the Dominant, if she hasn't already. You can't afford to let them leave. Remember, she has wings, you don't. What about you? Before or after I catch my breath. Sorry. Come on, Toggle. Oh, city boy. This is what happens, man. Love is bad. It's fine. He's going to be fine. That could have been worse, but it, it's fine. Okay, come on, Torgi. Whew, as me as a potion. Could really do with some more. They wish to give me some more. What's this, what's this? Potion. That was a really good boss fight. I really enjoyed that. I was worried I didn't realize... I didn't realize we had swapped to the second one and I was like, oh my god. She's got all her HP back, you know? That's what I thought had happened. High potion. The favorite of fight, right? We are getting accessories. I think we are okay so these are all the ones that I don't want to use so automatically 
Yeah, no. So it's those four I don't want to use. So let's have a look at see what else we've actually picked up here. Okay, defense by 10. We do like this. Whoops. That's another automatically one I don't want. Attack by seven. Increases Scarlet Cyclone damage. Heatwave. So Scarlet Cyclone and Rising Flames is what I have. So we'll go for this one. And... What did I say? Rising Flames. Phoenix Shift. We must get other things here. I don't know, we must get other icons. Maybe. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, I'm happy, I'm happy. Right. I actually, I want to sell those other ones, you know, the automatic ones. If you want to use those, then use them. Like, I don't care. It's just for me, I want to learn the game. The withdrawal has been signaled. Damn, Ray, who's the spellcaster? Green guy, green guy, which one was it? You? Damn! You pissed off Torgal! I feel like we're still in the tutorial with this game. We're like five, almost six hours in, and I'm still, I'm still in the tutorial. I wish to have this. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm running out of tower. That's a good thing, though, right? But I really wanted whatever that item was. How lazy wants us gone before sunrise. I just want to double check something. He said he was running out of tower, but... It seemed like I could have gone... No, I, I came up this way and then that was there. Huh. Strange. Nah, no, I don't... I don't see how I'm supposed to get around that way. Oh, I think it's just dead ahead here. It's just this one. Potion! Look at this banner. I don't know how much damage Torgal actually does, but I'm assuming he's a very good person to have with me. Oh. 
flown away. That was a lot of enemies. Ah. <sighs> you definitely need to get the cuters like ASAP because if you don't, like the fights just carry on. No holding back. To really concentrate on a lot of these fights. <sighs> Especially that, guys. They're an absolute nightmare. He definitely got a lot of my HP down, that's for sure. Okay, let's move on. As long as I get high potions back, I don't mind. Hello? Easy. I try not to run into the next fight too quickly because I'm I'm watching my rising flames and my cyclone come back and I I would quite like them to be back before the next section but sometimes it doesn't always work out that way Finally. what are you barking at Finn's gonna think I'm talking to him like, what are you barking at this is a boss arena if I've ever seen one. Bring it on, girl. She's not even trying to fly away. Why? I confess I expected more from the old man. And less from you. This is the second time you've bested my sisters. Men of your talents are rare indeed. Why cost your lot with such undesirables? If it is the hearth you long for, you will find more than enough warmth under my wings. You know exactly what I want. Hand over the dominant, and I'll leave you in peace. You would dare to make demands of me. Know your place, little lamb. Oof. Fool is the shepherd who heats every bleat of the flock. 
And I will suffer yours no longer. Must I spell it out for you, Branded? No one is listening. No one at all! Oh, crap. Come, little lamb. To the slaughter with you. Oh, shoot! Watch yourself, Torgal.
I'm scared to use my potion because I'm like, Time to join my pet. Oh my god. Ugh. They did say she was impossible! game over yet, honey. You come from a dog, that's it. You're already dead. You've already died. Uh-oh. Damn it. You should not have done that at the same time. or anything. Look at my HP! Look at my HP, you guys! It's not good.
I'm panicking. I'm like super panicking. came back I was like oh my god okay he can heal me he can heal me it's okay This is it. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, what a great fight that was. That was awesome. Whew. What's this? Increases rising flames will damage. <laughs> That's what you get, don't touch my dog! You are but a branded! I... I... How? How did you do it? How did you even survive? How? The answer is simple, Benedicta. He was fighting for something he believed in. Shut up! Why aren't you dead? We've played your games. Now tell me where he is. Who? What are you? Uh oh. Why? Did you just take her? Taking it. She's gone. What is, 
What's ha happening? Give her back! Give her back! Give her back! My lady! Where is she? Where is Garuda? So this kind of makes sense. How'd you do that? Can we talk about it later? Fuck me. I hope the bear has found a way out. Clive, this place is ready to collapse. And I'd rather not be here when it does. If your dominance started this fire, and I'm betting he did, he'll be long gone. Damn it all. Hey, but we, we came out of this with some extra power. Hmm. Who are you? I created a diversion as commanded, Your Grace. The villagers escaped in the confusion. As should we. Yes. What if that's Josh? And he's not been dead all this time. Oh, I just have so many theories. I don't know. I love this game. It's so good though. What a day. Whew. And Torgo's fine. Look, morning has broken. And here come the cavalry, itching to butcher the bastards who made him miss their morning gruel. Come on. If they catch us leaving a burning care, people might jump to conclusions. Right. That was awesome! Wings of change. So you have Garuda. The power of wind. Clive has claimed a portion of Garuda's essence. Attuning with Garuda not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new icon abilities such as Gouge, a deadly flurry of talons that can tear into an opponent for multiple hits. Ability details can be found in the tab. So Garuda's icon feet, Deadly Embrace, can be used to draw smaller, lighter enemies forward toward Clive. The action can also topple larger enemies that become partially staggered when their will gauge reaches 50. Toppling an enemy in this manner can deal significant damage. That's sick. Press L2 to cycle between them. Okay. Cooldown times for icon abilities are displayed around the corresponding icon. Ability availability for all attuned icons can be confirmed via the colored dots. Benedicta said you'd taken her power. You don't still have it, do you? I think I do. I can feel it. It's inside me. Okay, so there's Phoenix, and there's Deadly Embrace. Whoa! Okay, me like. And then... Oh, wow! Okay, so I just gained two extra moves. Because you get cooldown on both. I just assumed I'd still only be allowed to use two of them. But I can use four now. Sick! 
That is super cool. I just want to make sure I actually picked up this. Yeah, I think I did. All things have gone insane in this game. And I like it. I like it. Okay, so we have Phoenix and we have Deadly Embrace. Nice. Now obviously there's a lot of things I can do in this area, but I'm actually trying to What the hell is that? How tall are you? Turn back! Or it's the dungeon here! Could... Just keep going! a lot happening right now. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy. That's so good. Can you imagine if I get like all of them? <sighs> okay. Me likey likey. I like very much. I can't remember the last time I got um, an autosave, so I'm just checking. Oh, it's only me. Dummy gun, are you trying to get yourself killed? It's not me who's been playing with fire. <sighs> you don't do things by halves, do you? This way. Well, she's not a threat to us anymore. She doesn't even have an icon. So if it wasn't you or him who freed the bearers, who was it? Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody half for you, I guess. But what matters is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be had it not been for you, Gav. Ah, uh, just doing me job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me own to Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. We like Gav. We stan. We stan. She, she's gone. She's gone. My lady, you have to hold on. We're going to get gone, you. Gone, gone, gone. What am I going to do? The Barnabas. How long to the coastal road? At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. He'll know. 
He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. a good price, yeah. I reckon. Well, we'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't <laughs> praise her work. Stay away! <laughs> it's all right. Adolphus. My punishment for not listening to you. Joshua. Do you feel it too? The router. By the flames. will swallow this whole forest and us along with it. And I'll stop her. You'll stop her. I heard it again. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. That doesn't mean you have to listen. <laughs> oh, I should have gone with Gav. I know, but Gav's in danger now too. Clark, uh -oh. I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedictus' rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's weighing inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm not turning back. Oh, you guys! I'm going to be horrible right here to myself, too. Because I am all out of time for this video. Two hours, man. These videos are just long, and I hope you are really enjoying them. But I'm like, I have to wait till tomorrow <sighs> to find out what the heck is constantly going on in this game. This game is amazing, and I can't. I can't. I, I feel bad for her now. You know, I feel really bad for her. But, uh, yeah. I'm all out of time. Thank you so much, as always, for watching me play some more Final Fantasy 16 here today. I love you guys, as always, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!